we are in danger of going back to the dark ages of medicine. When she not operate, uh, uh, yeah, she can die. It was very uh, dangerous in that uh, moment. We go to hospital and then the, the doctor uh, he said uh, she is MRSA positive, this, she cannot come. When uh, she is sick and she cannot operate, that is uh, very much impact uh, to, uh, to the father. This moment changed the life for me, for the total family, and then we make a total uh, change in, uh, in hygiene in, in the farm. When we reduce the use of antimicrobials in animals, we see a reduction of resistance in animals, and that will definitely have an effect also on the public health or the health of people. The story with Eric and his daughter that couldn't be operated, well, that's killing you. And that's when you feel we have to do something. I can tell by the way that they look, the way they shine, looking out of their eyes, my pigs stay more healthy, so I have less mortality, I have a better production, and it's easier. Yeah, of course, we are proud of what we have achieved as a little group. What we managed to do is get a movement in the Dutch way of, of animal farming. Erik and Gerbert are extremely important because they started as one of the first ones with examples how can you reduce the antimicrobial use on your farm. They act as an ambassador for the farmers to show to their colleagues, to their peers, on what the options are. This is Eveline. Uh, she is now uh, 16 years old uh, at this moment. You see, she is uh, very healthy at this moment and MRSA free. <laughs> and MRSA free, yes, that's right. Yeah.